Good morning YouTube. Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, walking the southwest coast path. Today I'm back in North Devon, Exmoor National Park. Come to Coombe Martin. I'm going to walk backwards back to Lynmouth and Linton, where uh, Donna and I we walked back in May. So now I'm going to go walk back to there. It's quite an ambitious walk today. I think it's like 13 and a half miles, nearly 14 miles. The book says seven hours, and obviously the sun sets earlier, quarter to five. So I've got up at the crack of dawn to get here for an eight o'clock start, so I'm not doing the end in the dark. So I'm meeting the family down there, Donna and the kids, and they've got a fireworks display on there this evening. So we can all look forward to that. But first, we've got to climb 300 meters up to Hangman's Cairn, so a good start for someone who hasn't done any distance in a good couple of months. Wish me luck. Hot already, it's hard work. It's a beautiful day so far, it's gonna rain later, but last week I was up on Dartmoor and it was snowing, and today you could be mistaken for believing it was a summer's day. Beautiful really warm in the sun. See, I'm sweating. Nothing to do with this massive hill. Here we are now, Great Hangman Cairn, the highest point of today's walk. That's the worst of it over. Well, there's a big chasm here. Looks like we've got to go down again. Not too far, I hope. Right down in the valley now. Good. More up. Good. We wouldn't want this easy, would we? They did say this was a hard section of the coast. So uh, this is a good one to kickstart me back into it. But we will get to see the Valley of the Rocks, which I hear is spectacular. I'm excited about that. <sighs> That was a good climb. I thought I was over the worst, but that was, that was just as bad. Still not finished. Still going up. <sighs> just a breather. Just a breather. Well, I must have walked a mile or so now without uh, giving you anything to really look at. It's a bit bleak along here, and it's very quiet. I haven't seen anyone. The walk between Lynmouth and Porlock was fairly featureless. So this has not been my favorite part of the uh, coast path up this end, the Exmoor end, but uh, you gotta do it, haven't ya? Well, you haven't, I have. I don't have to, just said I would. Challenging myself. I'm doing it, all right? Stop keeping an eye on me. So I'm about nine kilometers in and about two hours and 40 minutes I've been walking. Seems a good place to stop. So, coffee chocolate, and then for an extra spurt of energy. My homemade flapjacks. Now these are high energy flapjacks. See that? Nuts. It's got raisins and fruit, different fruit in there, almonds and peanut butter, and then chocolate topping. It's gonna give me loads of energy. Not just that, they're bloody delicious as well. Is it the load or the footpath? Starting to turn a bit more rocky along here. Absolutely stunning, actually. So far, the highlight of today's walk. Ooh, that is a long way down. from up here across these rocks and now we've got to go quite inland away follow the path till it joins up and comes back up the other side over there just to give you some idea of scale 
Jeez. What they need is a rope bridge across here, isn't it? As is always true with the southwest coast path, what goes down must go back up again. And you look at the height up there of what we've come down towering. Oh, breaking up now. See the beaches down there. The coast has come back into view. That took us 50 minutes to walk in around that valley. Let's hope it's uh, a bit more straightforward now. These rocks almost look white from a distance. You could be mistaken for thinking they were lime, but litching all up them, I think. It's a bit better scenery, this half of the walk. Yeah, this bit of coast here, look at that, beautiful. It's very similar terrain to the uh, Porlock Linmouth walk that my wife and I done. I suppose it's the same sort of geology, we're not that far from it. But there's a bit more to see along here than there was along there. Not so much in the woodlands, I know we are now, but you do break out onto the coast a lot more. Just come out of the woodland, we're on the road for a little while now, making good progress. Two or three quarter miles to Linton, and uh, today it's uh, locals day. It's cheap rides on the cliff railway, so I'll take you down the cliff railway. Okay, so we're off that road, thank goodness. I'm starting to feel my old uh, legs going then. Like the uh, last time I was on the Tarka Trail, when I walked from Fremington to Saunton, I was in absolute agony. Back on the road again, but one mile until the Valley of the Rocks. I've seen this mansion here behind me. Beautiful old house, lovely. Sort of like a National Trust looking property, you know. Well, right up until the end there. What's that bit? What's that all about? Looks like Nelson Mandela House out of Falls and Horses stuck on the side of it, doesn't it? Del Boy's flat up there. It's a bit creepy. It's like something out of the Wicker Man along here. I'm scared. Wow, that's quite nice. Impressive. It's a bit like Dartmoor, stuck on the edge of the coast, isn't it? Well, this is a cracking spot. Really scenic, really beautiful. Yeah, it's an impressive little location, right on the edge of the water. Well, it's raining a bit heavier now. It's starting to dim. The sun's going down. I just noticed up here, a couple of goats up on the cliffs, right on the ledge. Here we go now, last quarter of a mile into Linton. And that's another 13 and a half miles of the southwest coast path, done. Nearly completed North Devon, 
nearly completed North Cornwall. So it's all going to be the south coast next. Family. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's my motto. Ready to go and see some fireworks? No. What? Oh. <laughs> That's the railway. That's where we've got to go down. Okay, okay. Just get on. Are you excited? No. <laughs> So I've connected the two walks now. You was with me last time. No worries. Yeah, I didn't bring her again. No way. <laughs> Who's it, Kane? My brother. <laughs> so now some fireworks. 